Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 10 verse 4 A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Proverbs 13 verse 4 The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Proverbs 21 verse 5 The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Proverbs 12 verse 24 The hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Proverbs 22 verse 29 Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Romans 12 verse 11 Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Proverbs 14 verse 23 In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. Proverbs 6 verses 6 to 8 Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 11 to 12 And to aspire to live quietly, and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. Proverbs 18 verse 9 Whoever is slack in his work is a brother to him who destroys. Proverbs 19 verse 15 Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Proverbs 6 verses 9 to 11 How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber, and want like an armed man. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 10 to 12 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command, If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busybodies. 
Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Proverbs 27 verse 23 Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds. Proverbs 20 verse 4 The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. Proverbs 15 verse 19 The way of a sluggard is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. Proverbs 26 verses 13 to 16 The sluggard says there is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Proverbs 10 verse 26 Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. Proverbs 20 verse 13 Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. Proverbs 22 verse 13 The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I shall be killed in the streets. Proverbs 21 verses 25 to 26 The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long he craves and craves, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. 2 Peter 1 verses 5 to 7 For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. Proverbs 27 verse 18 Whoever tends a fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who guards his master will be honored. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16 Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Proverbs 12 verse 11 Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Proverbs 14 verse 4 Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of the ox. Proverbs 31 verse 13 She seeks wool and flax, and works with willing hands. Proverbs 31 verse 17 She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. Proverbs 31 verse 27 She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Proverbs 31 verse 31 Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. Titus 2 verses 7 to 8 Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Let all that you do be done in love. James 2 verse 17 So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Proverbs 19 verse 24 The sluggard buries his hand in the dish, and will not even bring it back to his mouth. 
2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10. For even when we were with you, we would give you this command, If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. Romans 2 verses 6 to 7. He will render to each one according to his works, to those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Psalm 90 verse 17. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 7. But as you excel in everything in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness, and in our love for you see that you excel in this act of grace also. Ephesians 4 verse 28. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Proverbs 28 verse 19. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. Psalm 128 verse 2. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 6. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Philippians 2 verses 14 to 16. Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. Romans 12 verse 12 Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. 2 Peter 1 verse 5 For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Proverbs 28 verse 20 a faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 24 to 27. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. But I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. Proverbs 16 verse 3. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. James 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Proverbs 13 verse 11 Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. 
Matthew 25 verse 21. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Psalm 127 verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain.